All right, the last of the modifications to the coal forge, at least for a while. Last thing we did was put the uh, uh, so three or four, three inch, three and a quarter inch um, ledge around the outside. Need more room for more coal on those busy days. You got a flip up door here that fits right there whenever we might need it. Figure we're cutting a piece off, might as well put it back in there. Put a little catch there that catches it when it goes down. And uh, anywho, that right there is a double plug in duplex receptacle. That's where the uh, fan motor gets plugged into. It's also dual purpose. If I want to run something else variable in the shop, <coughs> I can run uh, variable speed off of that duplex receptacle in the back. There's the fan motor on and off. And uh, if you're going to have electricity, you might as well have some plug-ins, right? Now, this is some of the modifications that we did. We came in here and we put, this is a while back. Anyway, Stobart was working on this. Put a, uh, that's good, so. Put a uh, Y adapter, or built a Y on there. And that used to go in this pipe here, the blower, hand crank blower, used to go in the main pipe over there. We moved it and put a Y over here. There's the blower, hand crank blower. And then we put our electric blower right there. We got it running from a round pipe into a three inch square tubing. In that square tubing is our gate valve. There's a little catch there where it's uh, full on. It's got a little stop. You can hear it. Oh, well, that's full. There's no air from the fan going to the forge. Adjustable. That plus rheostat. So if you're working on some little bitty stuff or something, you can adjust the rheostat down and then open and close this whenever you're not busy. So because we put the fan on there, you have a back pressure situation when you get the coal in. So the air was coming back through the uh, forge and actually spinning the forge handle slowly. So we put a gate valve in there. This is the back end of the gate valve. The gate valve's right up underneath here. You pull it out, push it back. Well, you can hear the fan change uh, speed. Let's see if I can get I can't see, maybe, maybe I've got things pointing in the right direction. Put it right now, back in. So that's that. So that keeps the air from coming out of. Oops, that keeps the air from coming out of uh, coming through the blower whenever this is going. Now that right there. Let me see if I can reach around the front now. That's the gate valve. And, oh, full air going to the forge and. Then, that's back before hopefully you can see that yeah now what we're going to do with that eventually <coughs> whenever i get this set where i want it capture the air coming out of there and vent it around and up right behind the uh pot is where we'll have it venting out and so whenever you partially open that lever there it's closed when you're first cranking up, you don't have to blow full air. Part of your air source is split between going up the chimney, creating a draft to help pull some of the smoke out until you get the heat going up the chimney. Then you can go back to full steam, full steam ahead. So anyway, it's a shame because since we've made these modifications, I hadn't had time to uh, crank this up, even though I've got several projects that I really wanted to do I had a bandsaw break on the uh, blade break on the Harbor Freight bandsaw I cut it up and tacked it together and uh, got it ready to clean and flux and then uh, stick it together and I was gonna make a couple of 
uh, punches and chisels and center punch and stuff. But anyway, I guess I'll get around to that later. So anyway, there's the uh, forge. Works really good too. We did all this modification after we heated that big anvil up and put a face on it. That used to be all mushroomed and all that kind of stuff. I uh, don't have time to do the videos on that because that took me four days and I took a bunch of little short videos. I gotta pull that together, but that was an ugly anvil to begin with. Nice looking baby now. And the uh, anvil stand is really sweet. Did a comparison on that. Got videos on that up there. Uh, anvil ring and rebound test. You want to look at that? That'll even quiet down a piece of railroad iron. Good, good anvil stand. Got a 2x72 homemade belt grinder. 30 bucks. You can see there's where the money went. Those two white uh, skateboard trucks. Everything else is all made out of scrap, handmade with simple hand tools, no welding machine or anything like that. Might want to check that out. Should have a comparison video on a uh, Rage 2 up there where we're doing some cuts on the table. Uh, should have time to do this thing here for too long. That's a uh, cabinet we're making. And when I get time, I'll put the video up on that plasma and MIG cutter. Uh, shared electricity cart. Pick that up and roll around. We'll store it at the bottom. <coughs> Got this forward video. Uh, <coughs> it's up. <coughs> it's up there. <coughs> Little brick forge. <coughs> Works great. Redneck tool chest. Sliding drawers out of refrigerator. It's up there. Anyway, and when I get time, I'll put the build for that uh, striking anvil up there. And when I get time, I'll put the build for that oil tank up there. I've got it locked up where I can't open it right now. And the rest of that, when I get time, is going to be a nice belt. Oh, anyway, got to hurry up and get some stuff done, open the company up. So, cheers, guys.